That was pretty ridiculous. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. I was not expecting that car to drive at all. I was just. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London daily vlog number three. And I'm heading into central London today. So I'm dressed for the weather because it was raining quite a lot earlier, but it seemed dried up. So hopefully I'm gonna have a wander around Knightsbridge as well and try and find some supercars. But first I have a meeting. So I need to head towards the Farringdon way. Um, fingers crossed I can just get on a train and head off because I think I'm running a bit late and my attire isn't really meeting worthy. Um, but I was in so much of a rush this morning because I had to edit yesterday's video um, which took longer than expected and there was a problem. Technical issues are always annoying but let's just get on a train and head it and get on our way towards the Farringdon train station so I know where to meet my meeting one of the day. So no train, so I'm gonna sit down on the platform. The problem is with Watford, because it's the end of the line, when a train comes in, it's, it takes about 10 minutes to get back the other way. So, I'm gonna be late, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to get in touch with them before I go underground. I've got a shocking breakfast of a can of Coke, which is gonna keep me awake for the morning, and I'll get something proper when I get into London, and fingers crossed we just find a little coffee shop and have a meeting in there. I am wearing these Jordans that everyone asks me what what shoes they are. They're Jordans. I got them in America when I was in Detroit and I'm wearing them because they're super comfy. So to car spot this afternoon, it's going to be the perfect footwear. Meeting number one, Starbucks. So my meeting in Starbucks is complete. I'm now um, at Farringdon. I'm going to head towards the new car throttle headquarters. If you follow them on Instagram, you'd see that they have changed and moved offices. So I'm going to check out their new unit before I head into central London. As I'm about five minutes away, I thought it would be the ideal time to check out the new car throttle headquarters, catch up with Adnan and see who's in. <laughs> Just doing a, a panning shot. Panel. Casual panorama. With Adnan and Ethan, we're hanging outside the um, secret location of the new Castro office. It's very secret. Actually, to be honest, we've announced it. So. Oh, have you? Oh. Well, you've just shown everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just went and got some lunch. Now I'm going to vlog. So we've got a new office. Yeah, come and come inside and have a look. So can we do MTV do you, cribs? Do you want to do cribs? Do yeah. Cribs. No, uh, yeah. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> come on in, man. So here we have the. Uh, the area for parking your car. It's a bit small, so there's probably room for like a G Wiz or a Twizzy. Or smart car. Uh, or smart car. Uh, we're going to head up to the first floor because that's where car throttle is now. Uh, Ethan yep. is going to open the door and give you the big. Ethan, well, when we sure. go to the garage, can you make sure that your swag is there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just radio it in now. <laughs> so, tell concierge to have it ready. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to Comfort Stage Key. I would say this is where the magic happens, but not much magic. <laughs> <laughs> We've got CT gaps on M3 cutters. There he uh, is. Gaps, what car do you have? Um, a 3 cutter CI. So why are you on M3 cutters? It's essentially an M3, but it's really not. It's 0.2 litres less. But is it? It's the same. So it's an M3? Yeah. Oh really? He's just researching M3 body kits. Yeah. <laughs> and the most important part of cribs is what's in the fridge. Oh, actually, there's some remainder of some quite bottle cake as well. How long has that been there? Only a day. Oh, okay. Have a, have a, have it's some relatively sense. acceptable. Right, moment of truth. Are you ready for this? I could do some like special effects. Just so you do some like. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at the beer. And the water, the beer. And the milk. I made it into Mayfair, and this is the first time that I've been walking. See? Uh, not in the car, in London in a long time. My hair is all over the place, the wind is blowing, and I'm hoping that we can see some cars um, that have arrived from the Arab states. I'm going to just check a few hotels. The weather 
has uh, turned out to be a really nice day, which is thank God, because it was supposed to be raining all day today. So first stop is some hotels in Mayfair. That was pretty ridiculous, I was not expecting that. So I just hear really high pitched noise come up. Unfortunately, he didn't really boot it. But at least it's all Carrera GT. That was the worst video ever. It's on front facing camera, and I thought it was on the other one. London's busy. So this is the launch color Ventador SV. Look at the sparkles and then this. I don't know whether this is Rosso Dino or Rosso Scuderia. It's an orangey red. I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up. But these two cars, these two number plates, sorry, came last year in different cars. How awesome is this? I need to get some proper photos. Holy crap. I was not expecting that car to drive at all. I was just sitting down, minding my own business, doing a bit of tweeting and Instagramming, and then it pulls out and I have to jump up and get it on film, but I got it on film and I saw it driving on the road. Right, there's 458 somewhere, but I'm headed home now. It's so warm and humid, but not actually that sunny, that uh, it's been quite tiring to walk around London, even though it was for a couple of hours. Great to see the Arab SV. I'm now heading home back up to the train station, and then I've got to do a food shop this evening. So that's where I'll end the vlog, but hopefully you've enjoyed this London segment of today's vlog. So it's that time of the vlog. What a fantastic day in London, by the way. Three meetings, one plan, two spontaneous. Great to see the car throttle guys and also check out their new offices. I'm sure I'll be back there in a not too distant future. But then to go car spotting on a Wednesday afternoon, see the Qatari Aventador SV driving, which, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is probably the first time that it's been on the UK roads or seen on the UK roads on, and, and caught on film anyway. Uh, Veyron, Carrera GT, I did see a 918 but I couldn't get it on film because it was too far away and it was also in electric mode so we didn't miss much there. But thank you for watching, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already um, because there's going to be some really cool stuff coming, I keep saying that at the end of every vlog because there is and it will all kick off next week when I head off to Wales in fingers crossed a car that I've borrowed, not my second supercar, probably not going to be a supercar but it's still going to be a car that I can at least take on some twisty roads through the north of Wales. The amount of people that have suggested to go on these roads and the amount of people that have obviously vouched for these roads and previous experience. So it's going to be a serious amount of fun. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support. 
and of course I will see you tomorrow for another daily vlog where I'm going to introduce my new camera and fingers crossed get to grips with it so that I can move up a difficulty lever in the vlogging game and move away from this iPhone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Where I took my um, R8 to go shopping in to do the two shopping videos. I had to climb up these, obviously it's slightly easier with the 